Hey everybody, I'm Schmerkadaber, and welcome back to Moon Hunters. We are on day five, uh, supposedly the final day of Schmer's adventure, and it looks like we might not find what we're looking for. We may have to do a second playthrough with a different character, because I'm actually really enjoying this. Um, it's very simple. I like that things are happening. I like that I'm learning about this world. The, the world is, is pretty as well. Like, graphically, this game is really beautiful. Um, it's nice to look at. It's, it's very sword and sorcery and, um, very similar to sword and sorcery actually in general, but, you know, uh, in, uh, more action-based, of course. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm really liking this. So I'd like to at least finish one, um, you know, like, actually beat the game. If, if, if this is not, like, you know, Schmur will be remembered. Uh, but we're gonna have to have a different hero. I mean, Schmur, of course, uh, set the groundwork for this quest to be completed. You know, he's the first one, the first of his line, uh, and, and any that come after will have Schmur to thank for his great deeds in the forests and mountains. Uh, but we may have to have somebody else come in and finish the job. Uh, again, impossible without Schmur, of course, but, like... You know what? It's okay. It's okay to be the one that starts something and not the one that finishes it. Hey, we got a fight here. A big bat. Ooh. What are these guys? These are like regular people. Why am I fighting regular people? I don't want to fight regular people. Oh, God. That was close. Okay. Haha. I'm going to get behind this guy and give him some whaps. Yeah, you're getting whapped, my friend. I hope you enjoy the whapping. There we go. All right, money, money, and even more money, okay. Uh, and it seems in this game uh, that it does not follow the absolute law of mo money, mo problems. Um, you know, I've had, uh, when I've had mo money, uh, it's actually caused fewer problems for me because it afforded me the ability to make things easier. This game is so representative of real life in that way, I must say. Uh, we already looked down there, okay. So we're doing uh, our diligence and exploration here quite well. Um, but uh, we're just not finding very much. It seems, it feels kind of like the fire is... Uh, oh, this is a lot of warthogs. Holy crap, we gotta be careful here. Um, okay. Oh, God. Okay, we, we gotta focus on dodging here. Okay, there we go. Oh, the health. The health is good. Oh, man, that was close. All right, we got some money. We killed some warthogs. Uh, we found a cat. The cat slowly licks his paw, ash clinging to its fur. Oh, poor guy. Poor guy. I have water. Can't I, like, wash the cat off so that it's not ashy anymore? Although the cat might not appreciate just randomly being doused in water by a stranger. Uh, it, it, if it asks, I'll do it. But I have a feeling it's not going to ask. There was not much here, everybody. What an empty land that was. Although I did kill the spirit guide, so that accomplished something. Um, okay. Or was that in the last level? I feel like that was the last level. There was, there was very little in this map, which is odd. Didn't it say that there was... A holy orchard. It said there was a holy orchard here, but maybe you can't access the holy orchard uh, when the forest is on fire. Maybe the orchard has burnt down, I suppose. What a, uh, a lackluster finish to Schmur's supposedly last day uh, in this realm, dude. Well, let's go camp and see what happens. I'm really curious as to, to what's going to go down here. Uh, yeah, let's camp. Let's do it. We camp for the night. We've cleared the Saban Jungle Core. As the forest burns, Schmur's resolve grew ever stronger. He would destroy the Sun Cult. Okay. Um, but I thought it was the last day. It's already the third night. Uh, Marduk will strike with the dawn. Okay, what do you have to say about it? You still just playing music. All right. Well, we're gonna cook again, because Schmur is, is, if anything, a fantastic cook. Let's mix the apricot and the berries. See if we can get some sort of fruit salad out of this. That would be awesome. Sploosh! Okay, give me something good. Uh, summer salad gives everyone plus three. Plus three what? I wonder what form King Marduk attack will take. 
I bet we're about to find out. The final day. Oh boy. Uh, we have an old shrine here. This place is dangerous, but there is a merchant. We also have a strange sculpture. Oh, what's this? Well, we're not going to be able to... Well, we might be able to make it there, actually. Because we might have the knight as well. Um, let's go... Huh. Let's go down here. I have a feeling that the map kind of opens up uh, as you play more playthroughs. So I want to head towards that temple. Plus, we should have a goodly amount of cash to spend at this merchant. Yes, let's get the moonlight out of the opals. I hear you. Land three hits in a row to get a strength and speed boost. And longer tornado uh, donation. Duration. Uh, definitely longer tornado duration. Uh, we're going to see if we can defeat the main bad guy here. Uh, apparently today. So we want all the damage, damage, damage we can get. Let's go. Uh, having a look around. There's nothing. This place is straight up empty, dude. Uh, except for that merchant. And I'm glad he was here, because we got sweet tornado powers from it. Alright. Up we go. Uh, whoa. Whoa. What? King Mardok. At last, Shmer, my final adversary. I had feared you would vanish into the darkness like your beloved demon. Instead, your annihilation will be sung in our hero's ballads in the golden age to come. Oh, really, fool? We'll just see about that, jerk. Aha! Okay. Um, we've done some damage. There we go. Now we're doing some damage. All right. Uh, he's riding in the... Whoa! Uh, dip, dive, and dodge, Schmer. Get out of there, dude. Get the health. There we go. Okay. We're damaging the head, which is really great. Um, okay. Very nice. All right. He's healed his armor, apparently. Uh, look at that. We can charge right over the fire. There's nothing he can do. He can't hurt us. You can't hurt us, fool. And we can hurt you because we're awesome superhero awesomers. Um, we do the awesome. It's what... Oh, God. We actually get pounded. We get straight wrecked, dude. Uh, there's another health back there. Let's grab it. Let's hurt this thing as much as we can. Come on. There we go. Uh, I got a bad feeling about this one, though, folks. I don't think... Um, our dodging is, is not up to snuff here. Here we go. Get those tornadoes in there. That's what I'm talking about. All right. And once he gets up, we got to dodge. Okay. We got to continue dodging. Very good. Uh, we got to really dodge. Okay. Oh, close one. Okay, and those drop hearts. That's amazing. All right, we're going to use some of this time to, to get healed up for sure. All right, these tornadoes are freaking rad, though. Um, the the bonus tornado duration uh, is kind of life-changing. Okay, we can finish him off here. Uh, let's get in front so the tornadoes stick right on the head. Very good. We're doing real damage now, everybody. Keep that damage going. We can easily get all of his armor really fast. Okay, Schmur is the man for this because his weapons are, like, perfectly suited to fighting this guy. Look at the damage! The damage is so easy, man. Uh, as long as we stack up tornadoes, his armor just drops, like, super fast. Okay, that was no good, though. He knocked us backwards there. It wasn't a ton of damage. Uh, and I think we got this. I think we got this under control, dude. Uh, here comes the armor. Okay, we gotta move for that. We can pick up a little bit of health here, which is great. Um, even a little bit of damage, good. And here comes the armor. Uh, but we got it. We got it under control. Move right back in front, get that damage on the head. And we're gonna kill this guy, man. I think we're actually gonna accomplish a hero's task in our very first playthrough. What are those things, by the way? Oh, okay, we're in the right spot, dude. I think we've done it. No. Ashua, why did you fail me? Did I not destroy the demon as you desired? Ha ha! Okay, trophy abandoned. I killed the king. I go into the ever burning land. Okay, bye. Oh, oh. <laughs> well animated. Leadership was soon helped dissolve. Betrayers were cast into the wilderness to perish. Oh no, Moon! Moon! Where did you go? 
No, not her owls. I prayed at her statue. Dude, nothing is going well. What the F, dude? Uh, so the world just kind of fell apart? I mean, I need to find the moon. Like, that's the goal. I mean, I did, like, kill a boss. I kind of... I'm gonna, I want to do another playthrough of this. <laughs> Every year we honor what remains of her memory with the great feast and tell the stories of the heroes that fought for her and now live among the stars. Oh, of course. Of course. So I'm going to become a constellation. Let's see what happens. Let's see who Shmur becomes. Tell me about the legend of Shmur. Shmur the Rose. Our storytellers say Shmur defied orders from the spirit guardian, demanding entry to the spirit world. Shmur was blessed by the maenads of the mountain, who sang his name into the night from the mountaintops. Shmur honored the wind spirits of the mountains with lavish offerings. Sometime later, the sun cult unfortunately captured Shmur and, due to his high endurance, subjected him to many research experiments. After some years, he escaped and lived the rest of his life peacefully. Many hours of meditation brought his spirit peace, even in difficult times. The patience of Shmur was as wide and peaceful as a lowland river. The legend of Shmur is one of love. At the end of his life, the Queen of Heaven could not stand such a beauty going to waste in the afterworld, and so the pale dancer permitted his soul to be raised to immortality in the heavens as the rose. Even now we speak his name as a charm three times over a mirror by the waxing moon to beguile the hearts of those we desire. Shmur... Shmur, Shmur. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. From now on, we can talk to spirits. Uh, you can now play as the song weaver. Uh, you can now use the a new costume as the witch. Is that it? Okay. Ancestral strength. Not bad. Not bad. All right. And I'm a moon child. Uh, cool. Uh, I mean, I am kind of a hippy, hippy dippy kind of dude, and I've got the spirit tongue, because I can talk to spirits, because I beat the spirit guy, who was actually, I feel like, a little tougher, uh, than the final boss, once I figured him out. Uh, I mean, maybe it's just as Shmur as well. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna play a new game. We're gonna play a new game. We're gonna play through this again. Um, and what do I want to play as? The Songweaver? I mean, we unlocked the Songweaver. Let's go with that one. Um, and we're gonna go with... Dang, dude, look at her hips, man. And she's got those thick thighs. Amazing. Okay, um, I like this color. She looks like like Fat Korra <laughs> from The Legend of Korra. Okay, and we've got a... Ch That's gonna be her name, too. All right. Um, fat... No, no, not just fat. That's terrible. Um, Fat Cora. Yeah, great. The legend of Fat Cora. Let's go. Confirm. <laughs> All right. Cool. This is going to be exciting. And she can be from the Wolf Clan, right? Let's, we'll try the different clan as well and see what happens. This might be like an entirely different world setup as well, which yeah, would be kind of cool. Yeah, what are we remembering this time? Together, let's tell the story. Is this the same thing that was at the beginning of the last one? Of those five fateful yes. days when the sun cult rose against us. Yes. Right? The heroes are different. Yes, okay. Can we skip? We can. Alright, we're skipping. We're skipping because we want to get this shiz started. And we want to find out what Fat Cora can do. Fat Cora the Songweaver. In she goes, to save the world. feel like this is a longer loading time than previously. Okay. Oh, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> we find somewhere to camp before the first moon feast tomorrow. Uh, okay, my attacks are not nearly as good as Schmurz were. Um... I can dash, still. Um, okay. Oh, song, oh, oh. Okay, so I have a circle. What? I, I don't know 
what's happening here. I can dance, as usual, and I can pray, which is very cool. Oh, I'm playing songs. Okay. Uh, I can only play a song in two parts right now, it looks like. What does that do? Oh, oh, it returns my energy? No? It's like a shield or something? I don't know. We'll figure it out. She weeps silently, tears falling on a new-looking grave. She clasps a wolf tooth pendant, white knuckle. Tabira was the axe at my side, my strength, my shield. An evil fate has robbed me. What should I do? Um... Uh, you should avenge it, dude. You should avenge his death. I cannot fight death. I will have trouble even finding strength to attend the first moon feast tomorrow, but maybe you... Maybe you, if you find the spirit garden, perhaps you can somehow gain access to the afterworld. Okay. I feel more vengeful. Rad. Alright, monkeys. Okay. Dude. This is so much harder than with the other guy. <laughs> Like, I can keep moving as I cast spells, which is cool. This is actually funny because I, um, I just watched, uh, Koba, or Kuba, Kubo, Kubo, Kubo and the Two Strings last night, which was a freaking awesome movie, by the way. If you haven't seen it, go see it. It was great. Uh, when I feel lost, I pray in the general direction of the Great Mother and the Pale Dancer. They guide my path to my next holy sculpture. Okay, that's cool. Awesome. And he goes and sculpts. That's pretty neat. Okay. Blowing up mushrooms. Uh, what's this? Oh, this is the camp. Okay. I think we've explored uh, all there is to explore here then. We do have mushrooms to blow up. We can get that sweet, sweet cash. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna be excited to get stuff to purchase with this character because I feel very weak right now. When I was young, I traveled by the name of Fat Cora, bringing stories to anyone who would listen. Okay. Cool. Good for you, Fat Cora. You sound like a real nice girl. Seems safe here. Let's set up camp. Okay. Um, we need more endurance. Actually, we need more strength, big time. Um, unless all of our things are magical. In which case, we need more intellect. Um, so, I'm thinking... Let's stargaze? Let's stargaze. Yeah. Fat Cora stares at the night sky and attempts to comprehend. Uh, five intellect and two faith. Great. A familiar face approaches the campfire. Oh, Fat Cora, I'm glad it's your fire. I was walking in the darkness like Tabira and I would do. Zora joins you for a round of storytelling, sharing tales of Tabira's ferocity before re returning home. Fat Cora gains bravery and plus three strength. Oh, I'm brave! Cool! Okay! The first moon feast. This is great, because this means if we find something that requires bravery to enter, then we can do that. All right. Um, it looks like the town... Oh, right, it's procedurally generated, so the town is going to be different every time. Oh, yes, a hero of the ages. That's you, certainly. Yes, <laughs> especially when you spend your opals. I've only got 13 opals, so I might be able to find a couple more, but I hope to see the Celestine tribe again one day. I visited them as a child, and they were the most beautiful, intelligent people. Jabal sighs, eyes following two deer cavorting down in the valley. Uh, you wish you could cavort with the deer? Poor guy. Okay. Hey, bird. The bird squawks in a strangely human voice and flies away. Maybe someone can teach you how to speak with animals. Maybe. Maybe. Enkidu, the elder, will need guidance in the years to come. It's, un it's fortunate he listens to me sometimes. Sorry for how I acted last night. Pale Dancer, forgive me. I just wish I could see Tabira one more time. We need the most ripe fruits for the first moon feast. Boy, his voice uh, really brought the phlegm up. Uh, uchi, uchi, go. No need to worry, little baby babu. No, no. Okay, you're weird. That guy's got a very strange voice. Uh, okay, we do now, however, have the 15 bucks to spend here if we want to. Play a third part in attack sounds. That sounds really good. Um, add stun to battle chant. We need a third part. We have to. So this lets us... Okay. Okay. 
Can I not mix these? I mean, that looks like it's supposed to be healing me, but it might just be refilling my spirit gauge. I'm not sure. All right, kabloom. I heard about a cat that can teach you to talk to animals, but listening to my lazy cat hasn't taught me anything at all. Meow. Yeah, don't let her talk to you that way, dude. Um, okay, what else do we have here? We've got the elders swap nostalgic stories of mistakes in their youth. Perhaps someone more patient would listen to their rambling. I thought I was patient. No, I guess that was Schmur. Look at this, though. This is cool. The Great Mother watches over the village. Her face is grown from ancient wood. The Wolf Clan says the moon births all lives and nurtures all instinct. Colin, even the tiniest worm, her daughter. Cunning. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, let's set up for the feast. Let's go. I was hoping you'd say that. I hope there's enough cake for everyone. <laughs> the village gathered to feast and watch the moon rise. Everyone sang into the darkness to welcome the full moon. And then nothing happened and everybody panicked. I got it. And I have to go and save the world. There is nothing to fear. The Wolf Clan has overcome every calamity. We will make the Great Mother proud until her return. Fat Cora, as a priestess, it is your duty to tell me the truth. Has she truly abandoned us? No. She has not. Phew! Then I'll make sure the clan prepares well in her absence. Travel safely, sister. You got it, buddy. I will travel safely. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Um, okay. We've got the Mistral Canyon, which has a merchant. We've got Feral Hedge, which has a merchant. A merchant and a holy orchard, or a merchant. Let's go to the holy orchard. Um, the forest is not on fire yet, so that's good. We should be able to, um, to have no problem finding the Holy Orchard. Okay. Oh, I'm starting to get it a little bit. What if I do... Oh, I can get two big ones. That's really good. Okay. This is not so bad, but it does take a long time to kill bad guys, dude. Like, okay. Cool, cool. I do have tons of energy, though, which is really nice. There we go. All right, so it seems like the square attack does the most damage, and the circle attack has the most range. Uh, so that's just, just an interesting little note. Um, okay, make sure to blow everything up. So if I can use the standard attack, like, that's my best bet. And it doesn't even use up energy for me to play it. Um, so I feel like, gosh, this, it's rough, dude. This is, uh, this character is not spectacular. But it, I do get to keep moving, unlike Schmur. So that should make it easier to avoid getting hit, at least. Okay, getting those combos go. I, I it should be easier to avoid getting hit as I get hit four times in a row. Okay, but once there's only one bad guy, it becomes much easier. Okay, what if I cast this? It, it does. It's a stamina restoring thing, which does not, frankly, seem very useful. Okay, the circle of mushrooms looks strange. Maybe a wise sage could tell you its meaning. Um, don't care, wise sages. I just want the money and the health. Thank you very much. Let's go. All right, bang, bang. And uh, more monkeys. More evil monkeys. Yeah. Oh, come on now. We let ourselves get hit by an evil monkey. What are we doing, everybody? He missed, and I ran right at... What the F? There we go. Okay. Very good. Taken out. A little bit of health is also really nice. Um, my dash is also, like, super slow, dude. I am not a fan of this character at all. Um, okay. I also really need the way to get maybe a fourth, um, song would be real nice. There we go. Okay. Huh, jeez. Or, not a song so much, but a fourth, um, attack. Ooh, baby. All right, we're gonna we're gonna strafe these monkeys. They're not gonna hurt us. We are gonna like the range of the standard attack is so poor. Like I don't uh, 
I think I might die a couple times on this playthrough, if not several times. Okay, bam. Here we go. And kerbang. Kerpow. Okay, there we go. A little bit of money is good, but it's not what I need. I need health big time. There we go. Okay, Fat Cora crawls to safety, losing opals. So I did die in there, um, and it brought me to camping. That sucks, dude. Um, uh, I don't know. Let's cook. Uh, let's cook. Let's mix up um, water and uh, mushrooms mushrooms and water. Alright, yes. Yes, please. Give me something tasty. Okay, sploosh. Alright, this is good. What do we got? Mushroom soup. Three faith. I'll take it. Uh, King Mardok announces that the righteous sun is hereby vanquished and destroyed the temptress moon. All tribes are whatever. I disagree. Yes. Okay. Um, three days. So you lose a day when you die, dude. That sucks. Uh, and I didn't even clear the area, so I don't think I got any new spots, really. Um, where's the, uh, the, like, temple-y looking place? Is there gonna be another temple-y looking place? There's a volcano up there, and there's some villages over here. We're gonna go that way. Alright, to the desert. To the desert to see if we can find what the deal with that village is. And we're indeed going to find that next time on Moon Hunters. So thank you so much for tuning in. You know I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. I'll see you around. I will see you next time. I can't wait to play more Moon Hunters. And I can't wait to do it with you. Have a great day. Bye.